Star, and I've lived here in La Haye for like 15 years. And um, I'm a student at NASCAD, um, spend a lot of time just doing art and hanging out in the forest. It's mostly what I do. <laughs> um, I'm currently living with my family, which is super fun, just back for the summer, be in Halifax in September. So that's been really nice, just trying to get to all the beaches. Um, the subject matter, I really like protest art, anything that's kind of like a little bit angry and talking about some of the challenges of today, like what it means to be a woman in today's society, what it means to like be on a dying planet, like all of these things that are super, super relevant and part of our lives, part of the things we're thinking about. Um, in terms of like the end of my degree, I'm not really sure yet. I'd like to get my master's and still trying to figure out which art things I'm going to focus on. Um, not too sure yet. Printmaking, super fun. Um, photography, amazing, but there's so many to choose from, so I'm not sure yet. There's a little bit of my art on my Facebook page, very minimal. Um, mostly it's just like with friends and stuff, I like hang it up in my house or you know, something like that. Um, I took a class at NASCAD called Radical Forms, which was kind of like performance art and um, a bit of bookmaking. It was kind of a, <laughs> a random course it almost felt like, but it was amazing. It, I didn't even mean to take it. I just accidentally ended up in this class. And it was just like, I don't know, there's something about performance art and this like idea of like, you are the medium. It's just like you and then the audience and like what you're doing and like all of these things is just like, it feels so direct and this class ended up being so emotional and like people were talking about super personal things in their work and just like telling or sharing or somehow performing the story and it was one of the most incredible experiences that I've had it was, it was quite powerful um, and so that was super neat and I met like I think everybody in that class became super close because we all had to really trust each other like we're gonna get up there and take this big creative risk where we're gonna perform this thing with our person in front of each other. So it was a really neat class to make friends in and just like, just learn so much, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, and thinking about art, I always think a lot about intention um, when it comes to sort of the difference between things that are art and aren't and sometimes it's like confusing. And essentially it's whatever the creator decides, but. I don't know, I think a lot about like the intentions behind things and sort of like what the artist is thinking, what the artist is going through. Like we talk a lot about like process and like it's not necessarily like a finished piece, but it's about like this push and pull between the artist and the work and sort of that experience. Um, but yeah, art is, art is anything that like you decide it is and art is anything that you're like, working at and like fighting for and like expressing things and it's like it's just like an ongoing conversation um i'm working for afterglow which i'm super excited about um just like helping like organize and like find artists to share their work um for the festival and just try to figure out the festival like exactly what's happening like budgeting just like logistics like how does this all work and then also spending some time at art happening, um, running some like summer programs out of here, figuring out who's involved, like having some open studios so people can come in and share, um, which is super exciting just to be like working in my field, which I think sometimes in art is like harder to do. Um, so I'm super stoked to have this job, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Afterglow is a art street festival that happens here in Bridgewater. It's a little bit like Nocturne. Um, it's just like a super great, like it's two nights where you come out and just like walk through the streets and explore and see all of these different artists and musicians, just all this magical stuff happening at night. It's super cool.